बसमीम् अलकुम माई डेयर स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर फाइन आई एम योर सोशल स्टडीज़ टीचर डेयर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल स्टडी लेसन टेन चिल्ड्रंस राइट पार्ट टू इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी स्टडीड अबाउट राइट चिल्ड्रंस राइट their basic needs and secondary needs and united nations organization today we will study about problems of children which they are facing and what government should to do before starting the topic i repeating basic and secondary needs of a child which we studied in the last class basic need of a child is food clothing and shelter every child have to be clean drinking water and clean food and proper clothing and secure healthy environment by their parents their parents should give opportunities to their children for improving their physical and mental growth secondary needs of a child is health and education social values and intellectual upbringing it means parents should care of their children's health as well as education children should be taught good social and religious values give opportunity to them to polish their skills parents and elders should listen children's problems and treat them with love and understand their needs now we are going to study the problems which children are facing in proper nourishment many children of asia and africa have improper diet many children have no clean drinking water and food and proper secure and clean healthy environment government should make set up for proper nourishment of their people especially children lack of clean drinking water in some backward areas like villages there is lack of clean drinking water government should make set up for clean drinking water government should provide their children's drinking water lack of education parents do not send their children because they can't afford fees because they have backward financial situation so they can't send their children to the school government should give free of cost education to every child because child have right to be educated improper health care and disease control children should be immunized from communicable disease at a very young age till they are 10 years old the health services provide these facilities to the community parents must be made aware that immunization will help protect the children from deadly disease child labor some children have to do work or job to run their family due to their poor financial situations so they work in carpet weavers 
domestic servants in football swing mortar and tire workshops there is no acceptance of physical punishment torture or abuse by siblings teachers parents or friends government should take actions and make laws to protect children from physical punishment torture and abuse begging children who live in parks on streets under bridges and abandoned buildings in the cities which do not have form are called street children they do begging to fulfill their needs and also poor families who encourage children to beg for living this is very illegal and should not be encouraged government should give shelter the these street children and tell them begging is not a good practice drugs and chemical use these habits are addictive and very harmful parents need to monitor the habits of their children killing of children killing of children especially a girl child if a girl is born instead of a son in many families this act is very worst government should make strict laws to protect child girls and boys also next is kidnapping for ransom children are sometimes kidnapped for ransom or settled tribal families matters it is a crime to kidnap children and now punishable by death and for those who carry it out fighting in war in the many countries children executed as soldier to fight with the military government should must ensure that young boys are not allowed to work in army or any other force in a little age dear students come on the worksheet 9 page number 108 in this activity observe the following rules label fear or unfair on each rule these all are statements you have to read these statement if If you think this statement is unfair you mark in in the front of front blank space of this statement unfair or if you think this statement is fair mark fair in the front of this statement I am reading these statements and also give you answers number 1 only girls are allowed to take science and maths classes this rule is unfair because everyone has allowed to to take science and math classes girls or boys both are allowed number 2 any student can make an assembly presentation yes it is right of every student this statement is fair 
Number three, all students born in April will not be admitted to our school. This is unfair. Every student have right to admit it to any school. Number four, only boys can go to the ground during break. This is unfair. Girls are also allowed to be grounds during break. Number five, all students are allowed in the ground at break time. This is fair. All students have this right. Number six, all students will participate in the school concert. All students will participate in the school concert. This is unfair because if all the students are participants of a school concert, so who will enjoy the concert and who will see the concert? Number seven, students wearing glasses will not be allowed in the sport classes. This is fair. No any student can allow in sports classes with wearing glasses. I hope you understand this topic very well. Stay home, stay safe. Wish you best of luck. Allah Hafiz.